Hi, this is Jack Westman for ESEANews.com here in Paris, France for the Electronic Sports World Cup 2014. Joining me this time is Dupree from Team Dignitas who are currently sat 3-0 uh, in Group D, right? Correct. Correct. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like I did my research. Uh, okay, Dupree, uh, welcome back to Paris. You're Thank here you. for another year. Uh, how's everything been going for you guys so far? Well, pretty good, I'd say. You know, I like the event. We played the first game on stage and was... I actually was surprised there were so many people going up this early because we played at like 9.30, I think, and yeah. it was really amazing. And like The production is good so far, the PC is good, so I'm satisfied at least. Okay, well, that's what ESWC is known for, of course, the uh, yeah. the stage, the noise, and the prestige. Yeah, well, that's good. So your first match was 3D Max, and that was the one you played on stage, right? You beat them 16 rounds to two. Yeah. Um, seemed like a pretty smooth start. Can you walk us through that game from your perspective? Well, first of all, we just won revenge because they were the one that knocked us out of uh, DreamHack Stockholm yeah, uh, of when we were there. Yeah, uh, and we played those two there as well. Uh, we kind of, we kind kind of knew what, what what we did wrong. Like we didn't hit our shots and we let them do too much. So we just worked on like, yeah, making up for our mistakes and just hitting our shots. And we basically did that. And that's why we won. A, a lot of Counter Strike players talk about. Well, uh, I'm thinking mainly of Guardian. He, he, I spoke to him yesterday, and he said he felt pressure. The first match of any tournament, the first group stage match, there was always a, a ton of pressure. Are you the same? Does does being on stage for your first match of the tournament <laughs> put a little fear in you? Well, some might feel it. I didn't. I thought it was nice. I always enjoy playing on stage, so showing the crowd that, that you can perform. So no, I just thought it was great. I, I just thought it was actually one of the better first matches I've ever played in. in All right. In, yeah. So I cool like as it. ice. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Your second match was uh, G play. Who are, where are they from again? Uh, they're from Bulgaria, I think. That sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, so. And you beat them 16 rounds to three. Yeah. They got one more round against you than uh, than 3D Max. Yeah. Uh, again, just smooth sailing for the majority of that game? Well, we haven't really played them before. Uh, they're not in the, the, our like, we never really practiced before them, and, and we didn't really know what to expect from them, but we knew that they like every team here can probably make some good headshots and stuff, so we just had to not underestimate them. And we just took one round. Like we actually threw the pistol round. We were like two on five. Yeah. And everyone just like, oh yeah, we won the round. Whatever, just run out there as terrorists. And we just got under this guy called Spy Leader. He just like made like four headshots and like, oh well. But then we won the second round just by rushing uh, the B bombs or something. But yeah, we just took one step, like one round at a time, and just played our game. And yeah, it, it worked really well. Well, speaking of not knowing what to expect, um, you've also got these two kind of. Uh, very international teams in your group. Uh, one is the Japanese team, yeah. and uh, who's the other in your group? Do you have the Brazilians? No, we uh, got I by Power, Mousepots, the Japanese guys, oh, and I'm thinking, of G, I'm thinking of G Play, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so you've got these two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mass confusion. So you've got these two. Uh, well, Japanese team in particular. How do you even go about preparing for them? Because they they got they you just finished your game against them and they scored nine rounds against you, right? Yeah. Well. Uh, Flat out, I, I they made some great shots and they played actually really well. Like they had some really good tactics, and I was actually surprised. Yeah. Because you know you have never played against and you don't know much about the Asian scene, so we just expected well, this is just going to be like don't underestimate them, but just kind of walk in the park. But they actually played really well. I'm I'm actually really surprised. They did start CT side of new. Yeah, they did start CT side, but after all, I think we won the pistol round and then they won like nine rounds in a row, and we were like, guys, come on, we got to get some <laughs> rounds, you know? Because then they if they would have won like 11-4. They yeah. could just got the pistol round on terrorists, and then we would be down like at least 13-4, 14-4, and then like this is a huge combat we have to do. But yeah, we yeah. we made to get six rounds of terrorists and won the pistol round at CT, and then we just took it from there. Is it quite nice? Because I imagine you go to so many tournaments in a year, you see all the same faces every time. Is it quite nice to have these you know far eastern teams in the mix for this tournament? Does it make things a little bit different for you? Yeah, I'd say it does. Like. Uh, People have like every corner of the like the world can show what they what they can do. Or I mean, like getting teams from Asia, getting the guys from Australia, and uh, some Indian guys and all this. Like, yeah, sure, bring them. Like, why not? They they're allowed to have a try as well. Yeah. And I mean, like, just give them a chance. That's what I think is nice. So yeah. Okay. Well, of course, we'll be seeing a lot of those international teams back yeah. at Dreamhack uh, Winter as well. Yeah. Um, so your recent results in Dignitas, uh, you finished fifth to sixth at Dreamax Stockholm, yeah. and also fifth to sixth at uh, Face It last weekend. You then changed uh, your roster. You dropped AZ. You brought Cajun back in, basically on Monday. Yeah. Um, at what point did you realize that that change had to be made? Probably when we started playing, and like when we just lost so heavily in the Face It finals. Yeah. Um, 
it's kind of hard to pinpoint what actually went wrong and why we decided to make a change. It's because he played really well and he was a great friend of us. We just felt that something didn't work and we need to make a change. And okay. get some new blood, get some new motivation somewhere. And then we just felt like we've been playing with Cajun before in the in our previous team, in Dickinson's before. So we were like, yeah, let's try and bring him back. Let's 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 fix what has gone wrong in the in the past and then just continue from now on. So do you feel that AZ didn't really reach his potential in your lineup, or was it more of a uh, an institutional problem, something wrong with the team as a as a whole? Yeah, it's it's hard to say. Um, I mean, he's a really talented guy, and he actually plays real well. But sometimes, from what we talked about, he makes it like some situations played a little wrong compared to what we would do probably. Yeah. Um, he's still very young. I think he's 18, uh, so he still has a lot to learn, and he haven't been at that many big tournaments yet. So uh, I think it's a mixture of his inexperience, and then we just want to try something new. Because I mean, like, we could we talked about actually just continuing with him as well. But it, the majority was like, yeah, I think we should try and get a new guy. So, yeah. But, and yeah. Of, of course, because you made this roster change on Monday and flew to Paris, I don't know, it must have been yeah, Wednesday. Yesterday, yesterday. yesterday yeah. right? Um, you, the preparation time you've had is, you know, barely yeah, anything, yeah, it's right? Pretty much minimal. I mean, we've focused on three maps where we were like trying to say, okay, these are probably the maps we're going to play the most because a lot of the other teams are playing it. Yeah. And uh, just trying to make our CG play, like tell where you're going to play, how this is how we we did in the past and then just take it on the flow I mean like Cajun is a really talented player he's himself like he's a really good individual so he knows what to do and we if we just communicate within the team then it shouldn't be a, that much of a problem I mean like okay some team that might have been together for like half a year or a year like Fnatic maybe or an NAP like they, it's just routine for them by now yeah. whereas ours can be like a little more like just by instinct and you know, what we feel like okay this is what we should do this round or these guys usually play like this and this is what we do and stuff like that. So we just make it on the flow, yeah, on the fly or whatever. So okay. Yeah. And of course you guys are very well known for your strong CT sides. Uh, and in the past you haven't prepared for events and it's gone fine. Like uh, Gfinity Land at the start of summer. <laughs> it's getting really noisy here, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so Gfinity Land you had barely any preparation yeah. and swept your group. It all went really well. So to an extent are you just relying on that as well? The fact that you seem to play so well defensively and it always seems well, to work for you both yes and no I mean I know we got really good city sides and that's basically what we trying to live on live off you know but I know we can be really well as terrorists as well we just need to make the plays and people have to stop making mistakes and do what fetish is telling us to do because sometimes people are not doing that and then it makes him hard for him to call uh, and I mean like and this game is so much about confidence I mean I don't even know what to say like you saw LDLC just made a new team the like not so long time ago yeah. and they went to win the star ladder thing and playing against Navi that have been a team for a long time, it's just about confidence. I mean, like, they're really, really good, but confidence is so much in this game. You're having like, okay, I'm gonna go peek this guy and I'm gonna win the duel, and okay, I'm just gonna do this push and I'm gonna go behind him and kill three guys. It's so much about confidence. If you're, if you're afraid of your opponent, you're gonna lose. And okay. that's what happened the last couple of events. We've been afraid of our opponents okay. because we've had bad results. We haven't had the confidence. We have been struggling and we got afraid of taking the duel. Because we discussed within the team saying, why do you think it went so bad? And we were like, well, then one guy said, well, every time I was peeking some guy, I always felt that he had some kind of advantage over me. And then the other guy said, yeah, me too. And everyone just had the same feeling. So, right. Yeah. Just, just the confidence very... has been. Right. OK. Well, I hope you can turn that back around this event. So you, far, it's you been have been. been. Yeah, so, so far, far so good. good. Yeah. Uh, last question before I let you go. I'm aware you guys are in the middle of lunch before I, yeah. uh, <laughs> I dragged you away. Um, Obviously, the big one is DreamHack Winter. I mean, fifty thousand dollars ESWC is nice, but this is yeah. quarter of a million is Another a lot major, nicer. Yeah. yeah. What are your What are you hoping to learn from this event to take away and use as preparation for DreamHack Winter? How are you going to build up to that event? Well, Cajun has, as Cajun has been playing with us before, he knows a lot of the stuff and he just knows how we play. So we don't have to fix that much. We might have to do some new tactics and and when. Let's say uh, we go out and we really used to go out in semifinals. So let's say we go out in semifinals here yep. or something like that. <laughs> and then we're probably gonna like go and look at our matches and see, okay, what went wrong and what can we fix? And is it our communication that's too bad, or is it our individual performance, the tactics, whatever? We're gonna go home and we're gonna try and fix as much as possible for that event. And because we just want to go as far, because there's 
a lot of money in that tournament. There is, yeah. yeah Stakes definitely. are being raised. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, Dupree, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, best of luck for the remaining two matches you have today, and of course, yeah. uh, should you make it through to the semis, best of luck there as well. Thank you. And for everyone at ESCA.net and ESCANews.com, stay tuned for full coverage uh, of ESWC 2014 here in Paris, France.